Hi, this is Chris Smith, Shambles Guru on the interweb, and uh, I'm at, as you can see here, Wat Doi Kam, which is uh, just a short walk from uh, where I live in North Thailand, Chiang Mai, now, just outside Chiang Mai. And uh, this Wat, or Wat is Thai for temple, is uh, uh, very <laughs> First of all, it's noisy. The sea law, as you can see that actually, uh, sea law, which is four wheels, and uh, cars can drive up this road. But I think today it's going to be pretty crowded, so I've actually parked at the bottom here. Uh, more about that later. We, we're going up to the temple at the top of this road, but I'm going to walk. Um, on the way, though, you can see uh, there's another mini temple here, which is to do with buffaloes. And they used to bring buffaloes here once a year and actually sacrifice one. I don't know if they still do that. I was going to miss this out, but as I'm walking past, why not? You see people are putting joysticks there and uh, also flowers and, uh, and there's a temple dog. He actually is waiting for me to feed it because I've got some snacks in my pocket, but not now, guy or girl. Girl, not now. There is a small cl clue here that this, is, this bit of the temple is for buffaloes or, uh, <laughs> or oxen. I'm not sure what it is. Oh, this is cute. I've not seen this before. They've got some uh, shrine here. And uh, they're floating tamgolds on it. I forgot to mention, it's the 1st of January 2019. Well, first time I've said that. And uh, I suspect, as I mentioned before, it's going to be very crowded. These lanterns aren't normally here. Mind you, they look like they've been here a long while. Maybe it's me that's not been here for a while. I used to do this walk every Saturday afternoon and uh, for exercise, but I haven't done it for a while, so I'm gonna be huffing and puffing today. Let me just show you what these guys are selling. Sweaty cap, Sabadi Mai. Hi, Sweaty cap. So instead of uh, bringing bringing your own uh, stuff here. You can uh, buy your uh, offerings and then uh, you bring the bowls back here or you leave the bowls at the temple and the owners of these stores will come and uh, or will go and collect them after you've left. Well, this car park is full. Swadi cab. My Jana, Loi Bai Nai Ma. Sabadi Mai. Sabadi. Loi Ma Tang Man. Walk. Yes, walking. Okay. It's very colourful actually. I've not really noticed how colourful it is. Maybe because it's a peak season day, they've put more stuff out. Wow, it really is, isn't it? Now, if you feel it's worth the walk up these steps. <laughs> Lots of smiles. It's very cute. When you're walking up the steps, it's always good to get a, a, a drink. Usually water is about 10 baht, which is about US dollars. About what is 10 baht in US dollars, maybe 30 or 40 cents. Oh, this looks really good. Oh, I'm going to video this bit. It's very colourful. And then at the end here, if you're a bit hungry, there's a few stalls where you can actually eat where they're cooking uh, fried rice and uh, noodles. Wow, it is good business today. Quite often, this is uh, empty. I said I normally walk up here. I used to walk up here every Saturday afternoon. 
uh, good leg exercise. But today is actually a Tuesday. I wonder if that's good. No, it's, it's the fact that it's a public holiday is the reason it's uh, so busy. Right, so the idea is we're going to go over here to the steps. Uh, look at this car park, my goodness. And uh, just around here. Uh, this ice cream lady is often here. You want to buy an ice cream? And here's the uh, beginning of the old steps. What is this? One and a half kilometers up to the uh, temple. These are the old steps. They're, they've had some refurbishment over the last couple of years. In fact, these were not here two years ago, this bit of the steps at the bottom. As we go up there, you'll see it gets worse and worse. It's supposed to be good luck to walk up them. Rarely do I ever see anybody else on a Saturday going up these. So this is going to be very interesting. Now, you'll be pleased to know I'm not going to video this in real time. What I'm going to do is I'm going to switch on something called hyperlapse, I think it is, which will speed up the whole journey up here. Um, I've never done this before, and I'm going to be out of breath, and I'm holding this gimbal and this iPhone uh, up, so I don't know how much my, my arm's going to ache or whether I'm going to have to stop for a rest. And I've got my bottle in my backpack and my cane <laughs> to help me up there. So, wish me luck. I'm going to stop here and we're going to move into I Collapse. seen there's some restoration there but more or less they're in the same uh, degrading state and slowly being worn away uh, certainly lots of people surprised me I oh, know maybe not first of January 2019 supposed to be lucky to walk up and down here uh, although I'm guessing that car parking is full at the top by the what by the temple itself so we're in this sort of little resting station which is generally about a year a year old. All these things are built by donations from people in the temple. And uh, uh, the stairs that you can see right in the middle of the picture now going up, which look new because they are, well, when did they build those? Maybe five, six, seven years ago? You could Google it. When did they build those? I remember them building them. And uh, uh, a bit safer to walk up. And I will uh, attempt those in a minute when I've caught my breath. Uh, and switch on the hyperlapse again so we you get up them much more quickly than I do. Um, but I'm quite pleased how fit I am. I'm not too I'm not too bad. It, hopefully you saw in the uh, the previous walk up the old steps lots of smiles and people being very friendly. It's uh, Thailand's not called the land of smiles for for nothing. So let's do uh, a rapid hyperlip hyperlapse. Hyperlapse, hyperlapse walk up the uh, up these old uh, the new steps. the view. 
Chiang Mai laid out, if, uh, over there, you may be able to see the airport. Where I live is in the middle of the screen there, and that's south of uh, Chiang Mai, an area called, uh, is it, uh, an area down there called Hang Dong. Now I was going to finish here, but I'm going to have a quick look round. Oh, the sun's just gone in. The golden colours are not quite <laughs> as uh, bright as they were a minute ago. But we'll have a quick look round. So this is a, a terrace, actually. It was built... Mm, they were building this when I came here in 2002. I've been here since 2002. Um, so this terrace wasn't here then, and those steps we went up weren't here then. 2002 and this Buddhist Buddha certainly wasn't here two years ago I watched them build it very slowly and very painstakingly by basically a couple of guys and they also but you're going to see a silhouette of this the big Buddha that's up there wasn't there two years ago and that was built I just noticed look at all these gorgeous orchids Many, I've been up here many times and been the only person here. This is very uh, unusual, I guess. Stupid thing to say. Not really very unusual for a bank holiday. These orchids are gorgeous. And even these ones hanging up here. Look at this. So this, uh, what would you call it, an altar, a shrine, and a big Buddha, which is up there. Oh, look at that. It wasn't here two years ago. If you can read Thai, feel free to uh, translate that in the comments underneath the video. So that's the balcony. Let's go into the uh, inner sanctuary. Courtyard. Look at these flowers. And they are real, they're not plastic or look at these. Oh, they might be plastic. Maybe not. Okay, let's go into the inner courtyard. พวกเราดูน้องผู้ใจดีทั้งหลายที่ได้โยนทางมาจากจังหวัดเดินไกลเพียงแต่ท่านจุดทูกสามดอกเท่านั้นเองแล้วก็ขอพรจากท่านเพ
So this is the inner courtyard, and the main temple is actually where well, we saw the entrance of it just now. You can see the top of it there. And then there's this part here. You can go up there and walk around it. I can't remember how many times it is to be lucky to walk around it. Maybe three. I'm sure somebody will correct me in comments underneath. Um, bells are very popular. That's the inner courtyard. We'll come back and go around the rest of it in a minute. Let's go outside. There used to be nothing here when I first came here in 2002. Now they're actually built shops. Little fountain. Oh, this fountain's been here for a while. But look at the strange little figures that you wouldn't expect to be there. A mixture of different figures. It used to have fish in it. You can't see any fish now. It looks like it's gone. So there's, uh, oops, there's uh, stalls. There's the name to remind you again of where we are. What do I come? Although I never say the attack bit. What do I come? You have to have your tourist picture taken there. So this is really the entrance. I know it seems to be the back of it, but this was where the entrance is. And uh, you can see a giant, giant Buddha over there. But all sorts of artifacts, and one day I guess I should look up the history or all of them, or if you can retire, of course, you can just come and read the packs. It's, uh, look at all of these. There's some elephants over here, and uh, I do understand, again, I could be wrong, that uh, it's lucky if you walk under these elephant statues three times. So, uh, if you come up here, make sure you walk under the elephants three times. Good luck with your hands in a way position. Look at all of these statues up here. They're fairly new. I don't, I don't think they're actually gold. One of the reasons this temple is very popular is that uh, many years ago somebody bought a, bought a lottery ticket here. The Thai has a lottery twice a year, uh, twice a month. And uh, somebody bought a lottery ticket here and won first prize. Now, it's, as it's only twice a month, there's nobody sell, doesn't look like anybody selling lottery tickets today because it was drawn just two days ago. I didn't win. Um, and uh, what happens is people come up here, buy a lottery ticket, get it blessed by the monk and, uh, uh, and hope to win. <coughs> this is a very big Buddha. I looked in there once. They left a little door open at the back once and uh, it's actually hollow. See people taking their shoes off at the top in Thai fashion there. These flowers are lovely. Okay, I'll show you this corner because this corner is where the toilets are if you're ever stuck. <laughs> you're ever stuck with the toilets. All right, let's go back and get back to the top of the stairs because I'm going to walk back down, but I'm not going to video the walk down. Uh, but I just want to show you where the actual monks are. Occasionally I'll come up here on my birthday. Uh, which is in June and uh, there's usually nobody here because I come up early early in the morning sort of seven o'clock eight o'clock time and uh, one of the monks will be sat there and uh, you give them some donation and uh, they bless you and say yeah hope you have another year 
I wonder how many thousands of people, hundreds of thousands of people have had their picture taken in front of this sign. Oh, some tigers over there. They're quite nice. Can you see the tigers? Oh, and there's a guy doing the resonance on, the, on a giant gong. Can you see him in the distance? Oh, I can't resist. Let's go over there and see if it's working. It doesn't look like it. <laughs> no luck. Getting a bit long this video, let me uh, just get around the other half of the inner sanctum bit. You come up here, watch your head if you're tall. It's not particularly high. Well, actually, not many tourists come up here. This is very much a Thai temple. see people walking around. Yeah, that's my hearing, hearing gone. So almost at the end now. If you don't like smoke, you won't like this area because there's lots of joss sticks being uh, burnt here. Uh, keep your fingers crossed. It's the right idea. <laughs> He's saying that it's uh, usually very loud, but for some reason not today. This guy looks like a scientist. Can we do it? <laughs> well, that was a good invitation. Very photogenic. How many people are here? Lots of boxes for donations. Those are sticks with fortune. That's called fortune sticks. Actually, there's a great big pile. You see these flowers people are holding. We used to drop them on the floor over here somewhere. Oh, they're in the... What can we see? No shoes. Well, you can see them in the distance. There's a big pile of uh, flowers that people have put, put over there. Of course, they buy them and the money goes to the temple. There any monks here. Oh, you see them in the distance. Just right in the centre of the screen. I'm not going to take my shoes off. You're probably having finding difficult to hear me anyway. Okay, boys and girls, that's it. Made my way back to the stairs. Oh, can we see inside this temple? Oh, the doors are closed. That's interesting. I wonder why the doors are closed today. Maybe because there are so many people. So, back outside onto the veranda.
<laughs> oh dear. And that's it. Let's uh, finish off with just another view of uh, Chiang Mai. Okay. There it is. Chiang Mai, North Thailand. Hours flight north of Bangkok. A little bit misty today. That's it, boys and girls. Happy New Year 2019. Have fun.